Good morning. Today, I want to talk about work. Yes, work. And I specifically want to talk to those who find themselves in a place right now where they hate their job, where you're thinking, my job sucks and I can't wait to get out of here. I can't wait. In fact, I'm doing everything I can to get out of here. This message is for you. The challenge I find with people who don't like their jobs is that they underperform, they do the bare minimum, they simply are passing the time, they grumble and they complain a lot. While you are in that job that you do not like, what a lot of people don't realize is that what you're doing currently is that you're building character. Daily we build character. It's not about the lousy job. It's about our character. When we encounter something or we're in a position that we don't like. Our attitude towards that thing tells a lot about who we really are. Martin Luther King said, if you are called to be a street sweeper, you should be the best street sweeper there ever lived, that there ever was. And I agree with him because you do not yet know what the connection is between your current status, your current post, your current employment, and where you're trying to go, where you will end up. I worked in so many jobs that I did not like, that I felt sucked, and I couldn't wait to leave. And while I was in that job, I made an effort to ensure that I was still serving with excellence. I was doing the best that I knew how even though the circumstances were not ideal. And I will tell you what, today I own my own business and I am called to go back and provide service to some of those same places that I used to work that I felt I did not like. And when I reflect on that, I think, would they have called me back to go and work to train, to provide service to those organizations. If while I was there, I was just marking time, I had a bad attitude, I was lazy, I complained, I did the bare minimum. And so we have to be careful as we move to life and as we aspire for greater things, that the little things that we're given, the assignment that we currently have, that we are still doing it to the best of our abilities. The Bible says, do everything. In everything you do, do it as unto the Lord. And I really, I, I, I really take that phrase with me wherever I go. And so I want to encourage you in this situation where you find yourself. When you show up to work, instead of thinking this is a lousy job, I want you to ask yourself, how can I be of service today? Who can I serve today? I remember going to a particular place to work and I did not want to be there. I felt that this was not where I needed to be. I felt I was overqualified and I was just waiting for my promotion. And my attitude changed when I realized that there was so many people that I could serve, so many people that needed me there. And so instead of looking at the job as a lousy job, I said every single day when I went in, I said, who can I serve today? How can I be of service today? And when you bury yourself in the business of service, when you lose yourself in the service of others, you quickly forget that the lousy job 
that you do not want or you say you do not want. And what you're instead doing is building character because it takes humility to serve others. And so the next time you think to yourself, this is a lousy job, I don't want to be here. Instead, think two things. How can I be of service today in this position that I find myself in while I work my way out of it? And secondly, think to yourself, how is this connected to where I'm trying to go? Because you never know. And remember that daily, daily, we are building character. What does your character say about you? Even when you find yourself in circumstances that are less than desirable, work on your character, serve daily.